Hey everybody, my name is Quicken, and today I'm going to be setting up my craft area. I hope it works out. I have this area over here, and um, I'm going to be setting it up to do crafts. Uh, as any other middle-aged woman, I just got into crafts. John just got me a sewing machine, so I want to set up my sewing machine today. I've never used a sewing machine before. Um, that's a lie. In home ec in 8th grade for one marking period, we had home ec. It is not like TV where they have home ec the whole time. One marking period of home ec. What is that? Eight weeks? Once a week? I don't know. We made a bag and we learned how to use a sewing machine to make this bag. A drawstring bag. Um, that seems pretty easy in hindsight. And my mom threw mine out, so I don't think it was good. I remember I made it with like sleepy time fabric, like moons and stars, so I could use it as like an overnight bag. And I guess my mom was like, you have no friends, and threw it out. And then in high school, it was the cool thing to like bring back the 8th grade home ec bag and put your stuff in it. It was like very indie to have held on to it and have done that. And mine was gone. So... I haven't had a sewing machine or even know how to use a sewing machine essentially. It's not going to all come back to me once I see it. That's not the case at all. So today I'm going to set up this area to become crafty and have a whole area for my sewing machine. You may remember at the top of quarantine I redecorated this area and super cool and chill. So I think just clearing it out to make it more of a place for crafting sounds a lot like a- sounds like a good way to utilize this space, I guess? I don't know. I have a long desk, and my desk is long as hell. And I've been hand sewing masks the last couple weeks. It's been a ton of fun, but it takes a long time. So, I've just been doing that on my computer desk as well, but I feel like if I could have like a little area over here, that could be super fun. This space is underutilized. If you watch the area where I redecorated this space, it was presented with utility, except like if all this was gone and there was a sewing machine there instead, like that would be fine. <laughs> so this video, I had filmed something else to put out this week. And then this week I had um, a skin biopsy and I thought it, I would just go back to work. But yesterday when I filmed, I actually felt quite sick. Do it, but you know. Um, really dizzy. So today I just wanted to keep it chill, keep it low key, um, and wear some stretch pants because I had, um, skin taken from both sides of my legs, so I feel like I am a cowboy with like huge saddlebag pants on right now. So here is my sewing machine! It is a Singer MX six zero and um i don't know anything about this sewing machine or sewing machines in general i was hoping to thrift one i wanted the process to be immediate <laughs> and like my neighbor pointed out if i thrift one or find one at a flea market i might not be able to guarantee the inner workings of it it wouldn't come with a manual it didn't seem beginner friendly to thrift one in my case because I'm stupid. So the origin of this and this machine here is a few weeks ago I made up a holiday called Girlfriend's Day and um, my boyfriend didn't pick up on the sarcasm of it all and then I felt bad so I had to live with my lie because my sense of humor isn't always apparent to everyone around me. Um, which is very obvious because I exist online where people correct me all the time, even though I'm goofing. So for Girlfriend's Day, um, so I made my bed and had to lie in it. And wouldn't you know, on Girlfriend's Day, the day of, which isn't real, John downloaded a virus accidentally and it shut down our whole internet um, destroyed like our modem and everything like that. He says to me, I'm sorry I did this on girlfriend's day. Um, so John ordered me a sewing machine online. <laughs> uh, 
And now I have one. So we'll see if he did a good job. <laughs> I think Singer is good. I'm not a bad girlfriend. We were going, we did go shopping for sewing machines and we couldn't find any in the variety of stores we went to. Michael's, Joann's, Walmart, another Walmart, a super Walmart, a Walmart with grocery, a Walmart without grocery. Maybe he just wanted me to order this so we could stop shopping for one. John ordered this to my surprise. I don't know what this is. I've been looking at sewing machines. This could have the things I want. This could have none of the things I want. This could be like not even a sewing machine. This could be the thing that like puts the seams together. I don't know. This could be full of rocks. <laughs> Okay, so, Singer. First thing I should do is clear off all this stuff on top of here. A lot of people asked me if this was an official collab with the uh, ink box, but they really, they just, uh, they just sent me these with my face on them. This is really aesthetic. I would take a photo, but my shutter sticks every time I take a photo, so I can't use this camera for photos anymore. So thank you in advance for buying any of my merch. I will put all of that towards having my shutter fixed that when I Googled said, it costs the same amount of money as the camera to get the shutter fixed and it is recommended to just buy a whole new camera. That can't be true, right? Here's some directions that I need. Okay, this seems cool. This seems like it might be a really nice one. Here's the foot and the power supply. It has a handle, that's cool. That's weird, this piece of paper is greasy. Do you see that? Uh -oh. Somebody's eating a little hoagie at the Singer factory. 25% off accessories and not ions. Notions? Here she is! Okay, it has... It has a little secret compartment that you can keep your notions in. And it has this up top. Which is good. I guess I'm really just making this all up. This just looks... To me, this looks really good. Um... Thank you to my boyfriend who doesn't watch my videos to for buying this. Um, I think I would have bought myself a, a far inferior version. I would have bought like a $30 like Mickey Mouse one for myself. And my boyfriend is not like a cheapskate like I am and doesn't feel bad buying something good that works. So I'm glad he bought this. I mean, the first issue is that my chair bumps up against this because it's a cabinet and not a table. I'm sorry if my tripod like just collapses during this. I was filming outside and it started raining and didn't I didn't realize, but I left my, left my tripod outside. So now it's just, she's not right. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So the thing is in there. Uh, how does that work? Oh, amber is the color of your energy. Mm. Oh, it does say I'm supposed to do that. Okay, so this um goes here through this. Okay, it goes through this. Um, to this around that way. And then to the bobbin, which I have not done anything with yet. That's a thick girl. Bobbin mode. Ooh. Okay, hold on. <gasps> Do you see? 
It's not doing a great. It's not great. Oh! <laughs> Bob and who? <coughs> Ew! This is all so fucked up now. It's like grease everywhere! I was not supposed to take that apart. Does this go? Does this go? Excuse me, does this- where does this string go that I just strung up? Now we go to chapter two. I know they print it like this so it like... I don't know, it doesn't need to be translated into a bunch of different languages. It's universal, like uh, IKEA furniture characters, but a, a, f a brief statement, maybe. Ooh! Okay, I just realized that it's numbered one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I don't know if any of this is right. I really, I have no idea. I have no idea if any of this is right. So to test things out, I have this um, fabric. And it is just like Halloween fabric and it's my cat's bandana, but it's just fabric sh cut in the shape of a triangle. Um, so I could, I could give it a proper hem. I, I'm, I'm so scared. It just eats it? Like what? Does this have to be up a little bit? Is that right, everyone? <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, you know what? You have to like re you have to like reverse it. How do I? How do I reverse? Oh. Okay. It sewed on to itself. Mm, that's that's permanent, young lady. Mm, I got my Aldi kit. Don't worry. Wait, this is hard. Am I doing it right? I think I need to be like this. Like I think I need to be like right here. Like, is my hand supposed to be through it? Is it supposed to be like this? Honey, I'm fixing your uh, bandana. Mm, don't look. Stop, it's dangerous up here. Wow, beautiful. Wow, I did such an amazing job. Okay, this is where I have to rip. This is where I messed it all up. Whoa. Olive is the color of his energy. Whoa. Kind of crazy. You can see it went on through this ghost here, like how straight my line is. Not straight at all. And then down here, chaos. Right, honey? Don't knock anything over. I know that feels good, but... And then, I what, do I just cut this off at the end? I don't have to tie it in a knot? That doesn't feel right. I'm gonna tie it in a knot anyway. Oh my god, is that Halloween for Belle Yes. Oh... Amber is the color of his energy. Oh. Is that alright? Do you wish it was smaller? That's actually Ethan's, but you look like a little witch in it. Honey, are you a little witch? <laughs> Did he just step to me? He's like, get that freaking Etsy nightmare off of me. Complete. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, so while this may not be an ideal place for my sewing machine, as far as the ergonomics of sewing go, I probably want a table that I can be underneath. Um, 
and like opening these drawers to be underneath uh, doesn't do anything. So there is stuff in here like this spooky cat mask and other things that I could probably downsize. I think I'm going to go to the dollar store and get some containers. Um, the trash men just threw out my trash can last week. Just threw it out. They said, <laughs> um, I'm going to go to the dollar store get some containers to just organize some of this stuff so it's not in this baggie. Um, maybe we'll find some bops and I'll be right back to create the craft station of my 30-year-old dreams. Okay, I am back. I didn't get much, I just got these like red bins and a replacement kind of recycle bin. <laughs> Luckily for me, I have been collecting some things like this. So I'll lay this down and then I'll have these underneath. And I want everything to be really accessible, easy to grab, and I can still put away. Here are some of the fabrics I have been working with and a fabric for a bigger project. And this is just a shirt I've been cutting up. I saw like a bigger bin at the store and I like know better and should have measured how deep this is. And also a hack, if you buy your furniture off Amazon and you're out, you can just look up the listing on Amazon and the measurements will be right there. I do that pretty often. But I think since I'm still a little young lady, see my fabric only takes up like that much. I tried to get glass jars when I was at the store, but I couldn't find any, so all my safety pins are just going to continue to live in here. They've been in there for years, so it's not going to be an issue of like, oh, I can't find them! Like, they're right there. Here's my little finished setup. So I had some extra plastic. I took the plastic off of one of my pictures back here because it was reflecting light when I would film, kind of like that. So I took the plastic off and over here it's working pretty great. I have a cork board at John's parents' house. So one day I'll switch that cork board to this. That way I can tack my unfinished projects up there, but for now this is great and I can write on this as well. So I kept my markers and some measuring tape and tweezers and stuff right where I could get them, sketchbook, this thing, and I'm so happy with how this turned out. I love that this is just like a little space that I can come to and sit at and use. So this is my sewing machine. I didn't know what to expect, but I am very proud, I'm really excited, and the like overwhelming feeling of like opportunity or like what will happen next, like this new school year, it's like really really exciting. I have always had the most admiration and respect for people who could make things with their hands, especially like following patterns and things like that. I've been hand sewing my entire life. If you've ever seen me make anything, I sewed it by hand. So this will be a little bit of a learning experience because I understand the theory, but not the machine. However, I am super excited and the plans I have to make things just feel so much more achievable now that I can streamline that process. Thank you guys so much and thank you for forgiveness and patience in advance because I come to you as a beginner and I love learning through
trial and error and getting things in my hands and as you saw I had no idea what I was doing and now I'll never forget because I troubleshooted the process myself in my brain which is so 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 fun. A lot of people have been asking me about how I make my masks and mask tutorials. If you follow me on Instagram at Quiet Cool Kid, you'll see some of the things I post that I do in my leisure that I don't necessarily bring to Instagram. I've been doing a lot of um, needle punch work, so that's been really cool. And um, if you'd love to see some more stuff, now I have a sewing machine. I'm so happy that this space is now a thing that is doing a thing and not just like a pretty um, on top of, you know, not just like a pretty place to rest some of my objects, but it's now a place. It's so cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Thanks for chilling with me today and hanging out. This space should evolve, so let me know if that's something you're interested in me sharing once I get the cork board and stuff like that. And yeah, thanks for taking it easy with me. You know, all these freckles, some of them are moles and some of them have to be biopsied. <laughs> and it makes me feel weak. So thanks for just chilling out. This is something I was going to do anyway, so I love bringing you guys along with it, with me and experiencing what I experienced. That's what I want to bring to YouTube. So thank you so much for your support. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget to check out my second channel, Quicken2, where I have been posting a lot more frequently as of lately. So thank you so much and until next time.